Look, I'm shimmering. <laughs> hey, hey, Bond Bakers! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole, and today we're going to be making a really beautiful carrot cake. I'm going to claim it. I actually think that this is the best carrot cake in the world, and so many people have been requesting it. So here it is. I know you're going to absolutely love it just as much as I do. I'm going to take you through all of the ingredients that we have here, but first things first, turn on your oven, 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and then go line a baking tin here. I've got a cake tin with some parchment paper and a little bit of oil around the sides. You can also do this as a loaf cake or muffins as well, but today I'm gonna to be doing it as a cake. All right, over here for the ingredients, we have some shredded carrot. We have some all-purpose flour, I've got some eggs, some moist shredded coconut, I also have some crushed walnuts, here is vegetable oil, white sugar, and in here a little bit of salt, up the front we've got baking powder, baking soda, and then here I've got some ground cinnamon and ground clove. Yummy! And for the full recipe that you can download and print, head to lebonbaker.com. A couple more things that you'll need. I've got a spoon, a spatula, and some whisks. Two of them. And then I have two quite big bowls. And there are no electric beaters or kitchen aids required. We're just going to be using our guns. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is grab our large bowl and also the sugar and the eggs and we're going to give it a whisk until it's nice and smooth and it becomes light in color. In goes the sugar. And the eggs. Absolutely beautiful, nice and smooth, and then light and pale in color. To this same mixture here, now we can add our oil and our carrots, and we're gonna stir it until combined. And I'm just gonna stir it with my spatula here. This is looking all lovely and well combined, so it's time to start working on our dry. I'm going to set aside this bowl now, bring in my other large bowl, and use this for my dry ingredients. So in here, we can put in the flour, the salt, the baking powder, baking soda, and our spices. For the moment, just leave out your coconut and your walnuts, and that's because we're going to need to give this a whisk and make sure that the things like the baking soda and the baking powder are really nicely and evenly dispersed throughout this mixture. Mmm, the spices smell beautiful. Now we can combine our dry ingredients, including the coconut and the walnut with our wet mixture. And then we're going to fold it until it's beautiful and all combined. In we go. Time to stir. While you're mixing, just check for any little flour bombs and uh, double check that it all looks beautiful and smooth and consistent. And we don't want to over mix this one as well. We want to make sure that it's just folded until it's well combined and that'll make the cake really beautiful and delicate. 
Now it's time to rock and roll. We're gonna put this mixture here into our tin and that's gonna go in the oven. get every last bit except for maybe just you know a little taste tester for yourself baker's privilege mm. you know what that's bloody good mate into the oven we go it's looking absolutely gorgeous and ready to be baked and I'm gonna leave it in there Check it after about 20 minutes and give it a rotate. While we are waiting for our cake, now is the perfect time to hit that like button, leave me a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Le Bon Baker. I am bringing out a new recipe or a new video every single week. I've actually just hit 50 videos, which is a huge milestone for me. And I just wanted to also say thank you to my little community that I've already got on Le Bon Baker. It's so great to have you there and I'm so happy to be sharing these recipes with you. Yes! Cake time! Okay, I've just taken my cake out of the oven after 45 minutes and it's beautifully cooked through and just so you know I can tell that it's cooked because when I press on it the top bounces back very slightly see that little bounce perfect and also if you test it with the skewer it comes out clean there may be a little few crumbles and that's totally fine you just don't want any liquid or moisture on the cake now it's going to continue cooking in the tin for a little while so what we want to do is just let it cool in the tin um, until it's completely cooled and then we can dress it with our frosting. While this cake was cooking in the oven, um, there does seep a little bit of oil. So just for the last part, I put a tray on the bottom. Um, so if you want to do that too, just so you don't ruin your oven, there's just a little tip there for you. Now for the icing for the carrot cake, I think that this cake is best paired with a cream cheese frosting. And I've got a video and a recipe up on YouTube for you, so I'll leave that in the description box below. The icing just pairs really nicely with this recipe and it also brings out the spices and all the different flavors of the carrot cake. I have made a batch of the cream cheese frosting ahead of time, which you can do as well. So it's just gonna save you a little bit of extra time on the day, but we can't ice it yet. As I said, we need to wait till this is cool. So as always, baking is testing our patience, but we need to have it cool. All right, my cake is nice and cool. So I'm gonna take it out of the tin and cut it in half. Then I'm going to transfer it to a plate and then start to decorate. Look how beautiful this is. Just gorgeous. Now I'm actually just going to cut a little bit of the top of the cake off as well. Um, and that's just so that we have two relatively even layers for the cake. So I'm gonna do that, cut it in half and then start to decorate. Watch me as I go.
how absolutely stunning did our cake turn out it's so beautiful and rustic and homemade and now it's time for the best part we get to enjoy a slice Time for a cup of tea and a slice of cake. Oh my god. Wow, the flavors are just divine. You got that beautiful creamy cream cheese icing and the cake is really moist and I love the little crunch of the walnuts coming through as well. This carrot cake is the best. Remember guys, hit that bell so you get the notifications and you get to know about all these delicious recipes. And thank you for joining me. Don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Le Bon Baker, for all tips, tricks, and recipes for the home baker. <laughs> all right. Hey, hey, Le Bon Bakers. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be making carrot cake. This is a request to so many of our friends, sorry, go again. <laughs>